Yo, what's good Tristans and Trist fam? So this is actually gonna be the second time I'm trying to record this video. The first time was kind of a mess. <laughs> so there's a few things I kind of want to clear up because of my last video. First of all, I'm doing okay. A lot of people have been asking me if I'm okay or if anything is wrong or whatever, whatever. I'm okay, y'all. I'm still kind of trying to get back into the swing of things and, you know, get my groove back, you know? Get my mojo, baby. Ah! What's wrong? Ah! Crikey! I've lost my mojo! I did just also recently move, so things are kind of crazy. Pretty soon, I'm gonna be getting a new background here, so this is temporary. Don't worry, we, 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 we professionals over here, we about to get this looking professional. Anyway, let's just jump into this video. So this is gonna be Gabby Hanna singing one of her newest songs in one of her newest music videos called Perfect Day. This is sort of like a part two to her last video. Yo, first of all, what is with G Gabby? What is with you in chairs? <laughs> it was a perfect day. Oh, how I've missed this. Such a perfect day. Just to miss the sharing kisses. And after all this time, you give me butterflies, butterflies. Months go by, I still get butterflies, butterflies. Perfect day. What did I do to deserve this? Went back to your house. And we couldn't help but hold each other. So I really like the tone that she has had in a lot of her most recent songs. I love like the musical theater vibes that I'm getting from it. I know for a fact that Gabby Hanna is super into musical theater because um, when her and I hung out, she uh, wouldn't stop singing it, would you, Gabby? <laughs> Uh, anyway, for those of you who don't know, me and Gabby did a video together last summer, which was pretty cool. It's not shade. I enjoyed it. But um, anyway, yeah, I, I really love the, the vibe that she's going for with this and, and how it's it feels like she's telling us a real story. And I really enjoy that. That's not something that you hear in a lot of pop music. At the mouth, took a break so I could take a shower. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait. Gabby, why did you need to take a shower? What were you two doing together? Hopefully it didn't involve that chair. I saw I love you written in the steam And I couldn't help but smile at the sweet message you left me But it wasn't in your handwriting Then those happy little letters were the saddest thing I'd ever seen You need to get your conscience clean, but just spare me the details, please I wanna keep remembering this perfect day Oh my god, her voice in that little section there is probably one of the best that I've ever heard it, to be completely honest with you. I'm not the type to be left speechless, but I this. don't think I can deal with this It's all the closure that you'll get this perfect day Justifications failed as apologies. I don't want to cause a scene. Please oh, this is like the best I've heard her voice so far. That's really cool. I'm really into that. Wow. I, I, the reason why I like that so much is because it sounds very speech-like and very natural. It sounds balanced. There's not too much air. There's not too much pressure. There's not really too much anything. It's just kind of like it feels like it's coming out of her. And I really actually kind of like that. No, I just want to leave this and again, very musical theatery. There is actually a, a lot of evidence out there to show that cross training when it comes to the voice is actually very good for you. If you're used to singing pop, try and sing some opera. If you're used to singing opera, try and sing some pop. You don't gotta be Pavarotti or nothing, but just like get a feel for it. It, it can help you find new things in your voice. Day. Oh, how could you miss this? Wish you would wiped it away. Let me live in blissful ignorance. Me have this perfect day. Uh, so that's how she found out that she was being cheated on, huh? You know, the one thing about cheating, y'all, is like, if you're gonna cheat, just be honest about it. If you cheat, you know, just, you know, just be honest about it. You know, there's no reason to, to, to try and maintain multiple relationships at the same time with multiple people, <laughs> lying to everybody, <laughs> Devin. <laughs> you know, don't use someone's computer, you know that they let you use or, you know, the phone that maybe they, you know, gave you money and helped you buy to like, you know, send messages and then, you know, leave 
Facebook or something open on the computer that the person let you use. You know, at least, you know. I, I don't remember what I was talking about. Me, G M Gabby should do musical theater. But you left it all in ruins. We ended on a perfect day. Really wish I could forget this. Cause after all this time, you give me butterflies, butterflies. Why'd you. Gabby, you, you're gonna scratch the floor and you're not gonna get your deposit back. That happened to me in my last apartment before I moved out. You know, while I was being cheated on. She's not getting that deposit back. What did I do to deserve this? This is, by the way, I gotta throw this out there. Of all the different endeavors that Gabby has done, I think that music is probably one of the best things for her. Not only music, but like the dancing parts of wit that go along with it, because Gabby is, can be quite dramatic at times. I mean, as can we all, Devin. But it, that's a really, it's a really, healthy way of letting that out is to do this sort of thing and i think this is overall a really good thing for her to be doing and not only that but the song itself is really cool i love how it tells a whole story from beginning to end what i think makes a really good chorus by the way is when the meaning of the chorus changes after every verse so at the beginning perfect day it meant something completely different from at the end do you see what i'm saying because there's a story being told throughout the whole thing for me personally that's what i really love in music and that doesn't always happen in a lot of pop music, and I'd love to hear it happening here. And I think it's an overall really interesting direction for her to be going with her music, and I really enjoy it. I love what it is doing for her voice, uh, and I would love if she would continue pursuing that. Overall, I, I love the direction that she's going with her music lately, and I love that it is giving me an excuse to call out Devin. <laughs> and a lot, of, a lot, by the way, a lot of people have left the comment that it's not Devin's fault. <laughs> It's the cheater's fault. What do you think about that, Devin? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> and until next time, Tris Dans and Tris Fam. Peace out. Hopefully next time, we don't have a professional background going on here, but I'm doing my best, all right? Give me, I just need a little bit of time getting back into, you know. Anyway, peace out, everybody.